Okay, so just like the title says, we're gonna be doing five fast songs, Danny from OKKO okay Let's Be Heroes. So without further ado, let's begin the lesson. Okay, so before I begin the video, make sure you hit the subscribe button and make sure you have the notification turn on. With that being said, let's begin the video. Danny Design seems to be inspired by a younger version of Velma from the late 80s series, The Pup Named Scooby Doo. Dude, their appearance is spot on. They like they could be like siblings or like close relatives or something. Also, Danny also shares a couple of traits with Paradise from the Steven Universe series. Both are very short. Granted that Danny is still a kid and like, Paradise is like what, a thousand year old gym? Both are very tech savvy and they both have like a robot like speech pattern. No, it's Mr. Tricks and Stuff, the trainer. <gasps> Actually, the alien is Fibra Simone. <laughs> Mr. Purvis Parker is none other than Mr. Dilton. Give <gasps> me this Earth machine to replace my communicator log. It looks extremely primitive. He also said he wanted me to stop calling him the Steven. It's just Steven. I said I'd call him whatever I want. <laughs> When it comes to jokes and sarcasm, Dan is a little slow in uptake, taking things way, 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 way too literally. But besides that, she's very proficient at analyzing individuals and their behavioral pattern. As she was able to figure out that Enid was hiding behind her core persona because she was struggling with her identity, she also told Rad that he was pretending to be macho, but he was nothing but a bit softy on the inside, and that Mr. Gar was overcompensating for a receding hairline by having huge muscles. Even the episode OK Danny Let's Be Hero, she even knew Kale's routine and the first thing that would come out of Kale's mouth when she entered Garth's bodega. We, we got, we got problems. Hmm. I understand your predicament. Is it how Enid acts super cool because she's internally struggling with her identity? Uh, 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 absolutely not! Mr. Gar here is overcompensating for his receding hairline with muscles. Hey! Rad is pretending to be super macho, even though he's a big softie. Th that's not true! Today, I am going to have a visit with my best friend, Ko. First, I enter Gar's. Then, he approaches with a friendly greeting and asks about my day. Hey, Dandy! Hey, K.O. How's your day going? I would say my day so far is quite grand. Danny is voiced by Melissa Fine. Melissa also voices Michaela the Bossman Robot. She voices Edward from Cowboy Bebop, Rika from the Digimon Tamer series. She also voices Himawari from the Boruto movie. And she also voices Gaz from Invader Zam. I wonder when she keep the role of Himawari when the Boruto series get an English dub release. All right, hit and run, driver. This is a bust. <gasps> Stinky gas. <laughs> My mom and grandma must be pitching a fit. I bet they're both doing just fine. I mean, I did send them that email letting them know you're okay. What? Sent them an email? When did this happen? Big brother. I'm never going to make her mad ever again. Are you playing hide and seek? Where are you? I just can't find you, brother. <laughs> and once I get in there, I'm... Man, am I gonna do something. I'm trying to draw a little piggy. <laughs> can't you see I'm trying to draw a little piggy? Josh? Yes? I'm sitting here in my boots. I didn't invite you. You better have bought the great, the game slave with you. You know, the game Slave? Yes, it's awesome. It's totally awesome. Also, did you bring my soda? If you didn't bring my soda, I'm gonna kick your ass. Danny seems to have the ability to hack and upgrade any objects with her backpack or hat pack. Well, that's what Kale calls it at least. The hacking doesn't seem to work on people because when Annie turns to stone in the episode You Get Me, she was unable to help Kale change Annie back to normal. What I was really hoping for was to turn her back from rock to person. Oh. I don't really do that. No! Also in the episode, OK Danny, Let's Be Heroes, it's shown that she's able to create an exoskeleton on the battle data that she collected from other people. It's also shown that the exoskeleton also copied the fighter style and the moveset of that individual because Danny sent Ernesto flying with Kale's power fist move. Do you see? A tree! Hmm. I see an elephant.
Surely there's no harm in giving this sponge a little upgrade. Episode Mr. Science Fair 21S, which is basically a Dandy and KO focused episode. The whole episode is basically a homage to Death's Laboratory. Dandy even has a secret laboratory hidden within the school that nobody knows except for her and KO. I trust you. Just no needles or anything, okay? Of course. Alright, Dandy, I'll Danny's first adventure is also reminiscent of Dexter's first adventure because both their first adventure has something to do with turning the light bulbs on. Even K.O. head changed for a split second to like Dexter's younger sister Dee Dee's head. Also, spoiler alert, T.K.O. appears in this episode, and when T.K.O. appears in this episode, he starts to break things just like Dee Dee does in the original Dexter laboratory. He even does a little ballerina dance. And the fun thing about this episode that Danny's speech pattern also changed to Dexter's for a couple seconds when TK was starting to break things. And that by the end of the episode when TK starts to laugh, he started laughing in no the matter how Mandart laughs in the original Dexter Laboratory show. Fun enough, at the bottom of the end card of this episode, there was a message at the bottom that said, with apologies to the crew of the Dexter Laboratory. Kappas never needed POW cards to be heroes, but knowing that I can get one too makes me feel... <laughs> Okay, so that's it for the video. If you're new to this channel and you enjoyed this video so far, make sure you hit the subscribe button. I do a new video like this every Saturday. I also have a goal reaching like 4K by the end of this year. I doubt that'll happen, but I doubt I can try, right? Also, follow me on my social medias down below. Also, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the like button. I guess I should ask you like one of my questions. Let me think. Mm. I know, do you like apples or bananas? Leave your answers down below.